If you want a better quality of life, then you have to raise your standards. Learn what this means and how to do it in today's video as we look and learn from the master, Tony Robbins himself. Thanks for watching today's video. If you find it informative, please consider sharing and liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more like this. So first and foremost, what are standards? How do they define the results of our lives and why is it that we need to place so much emphasis on them? Well, that's what we're covering today and standards form the foundation of how we live our lives. If you want a better quality of life, raise your standards. So what are standards? Well, Tony Robbins says they're essentially how much you hold yourself accountable and more importantly, the expectation you set for yourself in various aspects of your life. Your standards are critically used to identify where you want to be and how you are now. They're the backbone in how you live your life and who you are as an individual. Now in researching the concept of standards, I break this down into three separate categories, which are first, your needs, second, your target or the quality and third, your time, or the quantity. So let's take a deeper look into these three and understand better how they combine to make your standards. First, your need. Your need is understanding what you need to achieve and why. So let's take money as an example, as we all wish to be free from the stress of not having enough money. In terms of money, it's not necessarily we all need to be millionaires, but we at the very least need to make enough to make a comfortable living. So this is the very lowest standard for most of us set ourselves. We try to ensure we get enough to get by, in most cases doing the necessary to earn that amount and not more. Now, if you're happy, there's nothing wrong with this. Be happy and enjoy what you have. The problem is, for many, this isn't enough. We know we want more and complain because we don't have enough. Now, in this scenario, our standard is to make what we need to survive, but not enough to thrive which is the point of raising standards. It's not just about doing the basic necessity, it's about identifying the need to go beyond the basic to fulfill ambitions. In the case of Tony Robbins, this meant going from poverty into making a living, then going from a salary of 38,000 to making a million, then from a million to making multiple millions. Each time he raised the standards to achieve the next step of what he saw as progress in his life. Now this might sound great, but most won't fulfill on reaching the next level standard they set themselves. Why? Because they would rather make excuses to stay within their comfort levels than to move beyond their comfort zone and progress to the next level. So what needs to happen for you to follow through? Well, most importantly, your need has to go from being something you should or want to being something that you must have. When you need to get something, it's hard to get. Your mind will make the necessary excuses to stop you from progressing to get it, as it wants you to survive, not thrive. However, when the would like would become a must, most people will find ways to achieve what they need to despite all of the hardships that come with it. Tony Robbins uses a great example of this when he says to take the island, burn your boats. You get what you must have, so your need has to be something you must have not just what you want. The number one thing that's gonna change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. And I know that sounds boring, stupid, basic, but it's the truth. The only thing that changes our life long-term is when we raise our standards. What does that mean? That sounds so boring and dumb. It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. Once you know what you need, next comes the target. This is how you're going to accomplish your need and do what you need to to achieve to reach your standard. Let's say you want to create something. Then your target might be the equivalent of creating something of a certain quality to achieve your need. So let's use Tony Robbins as an example again. He needed to make money, let's say his target of a million. Therefore, the need was set, and the target to achieve that was to create a service through his life coaching business and seminars. His target was to create a service of a certain quality or standard whereby he could justifiably charge a certain amount of money to achieve his need. You see, the target you set for yourself is critically ensuring that you achieve your need. 
If you don't hit your target, the need can never be met. If Tony's seminars or coaching wasn't of the standard target he set for himself, then he wouldn't have been able to make the money to achieve his need. Finally, your standard is made up of time. So you've got your need, something you must have, and you've set your target, which is to provide a product or service that's of a certain quality to help ensure that you meet your need. Next, you have to decide the time frame you intend to reach your need. This is similar to setting and pursuing goals, which I've previously done a video on. The point is, by setting yourself timescales to hit, you give yourself responsibility to follow through and take action on pursuing your standards, your needs and hitting your targets. Again, Tony Robbins is the perfect example as he set himself a time frame of a year to hit his standard of earning a million each year and follow through to achieve this target much earlier. The point is, by raising his standards, he changed his state and mindset to achieve more. So, how do you decide on your standard and target? Well, the first point is understanding your why. Why do you need to hit this standard? Understand this to make sure your standard isn't just something you hope to have, but something you must have. Next, look at the market leaders and research time and effort required to achieve the target. Market leaders are usually the key indicators of where you want to be and by pursuing to achieve their standards you immediately aim to raise your own. Many who follow this channel are content creators so let's use YouTube as an example in this regard. When you work to create a video you should always aim to create content that can be held in the same regard as the leaders of your niche. I'd argue even aim to be better than them. Create content of greater quality, greater value and greater influence and content that's unique and different to them. Use the best as the bar for your own standards. We know we won't hit it straight away, but we work to reach that point. Now, this raises another point many YouTubers face, which is sometimes standards conflict. The best example of this is the quality versus quantity debate. We know as we release more content, quality of the content can dip. This is fine, as sometimes we have to make compromises to fulfill our need. Therefore, if your need is to hit a higher subscriber count, then quality will be compromised to create more content. The focus is always to achieve the need of why you need to raise your standard. However, over time those compromises will be reduced, as we improve and get better with creating content and working more efficiently. This is the final point of setting our standard. Be patient and grow incrementally as you need to. To look at Tony Robbins, we saw incremental growth from no money to making a living, to becoming a millionaire and finally a multi-millionaire. Standards don't have to be fixed, they're about growth and progress. So when you hit a standard, see what the next level is to continue progress. Finally, our standards are directly influenced by those who we surround ourselves with. If you want to be the best, be around the best. This at the start might be to watch and learn videos of people who inspire you. In your life, surround yourself with people who view life with optimism and are ambitious, forward thinking and set standards of excellence for themselves. We all know the saying, we're the average of those we surround ourselves with. I would say go beyond and try to be the worst in your group. By surrounding yourself with people who are better than you, you automatically raise your standards to try and keep pace with them. So with all that said, work on your standards. To reiterate, your standard is made up of your need, your target and your time. From there, understand how to raise your standard by 1. Understand why your need is a must-have 2. Learn from and work to be the best 3. Be patient and grow incrementally So go ahead, raise your standard and live a life not to survive, but a life of abundance. The difference in people is their standards, period. And what do I mean by standards? Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call should all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island, 
and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. So for my question of the day, which area of your life are you looking to raise your standards? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching today's video. If you find it informative, please consider sharing and liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more content like this.